back guys, welcome back to Let's Play Satsuna. So we're going back here to Gatherington. I believe we have to speak with um, the other sacrifice, if I remember right. Or did I? I think I did that already. It's been a while. Almost a month. Uh, didn't we... didn't uh, she learn something? Yeah, she learned Luminaire. Um, wasn't that what we needed? Uh, let's just talk to her. Go Julian's way. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I guess now we know what we need to do. Let's do it. So this game is going to come out on uh, the Nintendo Switch, which I kind of find interesting. Um, it, I mean, I would have bought it for the Switch if I already didn't have it for my PC, but hey, okay. I don't think it's worth playing it or buying it again just to have that, uh, that uh, portability aspect, you know? that the switch old would bring. So. Perfectly fine to just have it on my PC. Alrighty, so we gotta head back through here. If I remember right, should be somewhere up in this way. Wasn't it around here? Get lost. Yeah, it was over here. These guys showed up now. Your Highness, please. Please endure for just a little bit. Oh dear. It's not looking too good. Hey, Lady Satsuna, you, you have some sort of plan? When I give the signal, please remove the spell that's binding her. Very well. Setsuna! Lady Julianne, please be strong. Cornelius, I see. So you all... If you want to thank someone, thank Setsuna. She's the one who saved you. I see. Julianne, you're alright. Thank you, Setsuna. Alright, she's back. Hooray! Three cheers for the princess. Come, all of you. I understand how you feel, but please, quiet down. This monster blood seemed to have left your body now, your highness. Most likely it's not left entirely. But I shall no longer let it rule me. I can control it with my own strength. I know that much. Uh, how do you feel? Not bad. As if I had a thick... It is, it is as if a thick fog has been lifted from my mind. All I remember is a world of perpetual, all-consuming darkness. A feeling of intense loneliness and of rage towards others. These emotions took control of my mind, spurring me on towards destruction. Whether they were my own emotion or the result of some other influence, I do not know. At the same time, far away in the distance, I could hear a voice. Yes, a voice. A sad voice. I know not if it was the voice of a man or a monster, but the sorrow behind it tore at my heart. Each time I heard it, it seemed to eat away at my soul, and I was unable to fight back. No, Lady Julian, you have fought bravely. This old man knows it well, as do all knights. I thought that my duty to restore my homeland was the only thing that kept me going. But really, there is something else. Indeed. It is exactly as you say. It is you, the knighthood, who truly keep me going. You and all the people of the village who believe in me. I apologize for having worried all of you so. I 
I know it is a lot to ask, but will you continue to lend me your support? Our hearts are with you, Your Highness. They always have been, and always shall be. There are none among us who have lost even an ounce of faith in you. Thank you, Cornelius. I, need to see, I intend to see this journey through, so that our homeland may finally be restored. Together with my saviors, I shall see the last lands for myself. I shall learn the truth behind the old kingdom. Royal gate, in the name of my forefathers, I command that you open. In my veins flows royal blood, for I Julian, the last true successor to the kingdom. Oh, I thought this was going to be a dungeon, but I guess not. It opened. So our only hope of getting across the vanished line is inside here. Let us enter. Oh, so it is going to be an dungeon. Okay. Um, party. Get Julian back in there. So did I get any weapons for her? I did Astral Lens. Cool, cool. Let's go. Hey Julian, you sure it's alright for us to be here as well? If you're not with me, this shall have no meaning. After all, it is thanks to you that I am even standing here. Oh. I wish there was some sort of save point. Let's take these guys out. Fight. Luminaire. Oh, that's a lot of MP. Full cure. Neat. Um, lightning too, I guess. Yeah. Um, she can just. Uh, why didn't? Oh, wow. Okay. Jump. Haha, <laughs> 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 take that! Hi. Good job. Hey! <laughs> These guys are actually pretty dang tough. Almost don't have lots of uh, MP left. <laughs> okay, I see your game. Let's go up here though. Oh my goodness. No eye. Okay. We're not done exploring yet. I get to go. I'm sure there was another way down here. Okay. Pretty sure that's it then. All right. Baga Yari no Sabito Nere. 
できる Okay then. Waga yari no mai ni teki wa nai. She just came down on them and destroyed them all. I see a chest over here, so I'll grab that. Ooh, that should be for Setsuna. Probably the way forward, so let's backtrack a bit. There was also a pathway down here. Iron Maiden. Interesting. Let's give that a try. We're actually uh, starting to get double text, so. Oh, only in one person? Okay. Death! Oh! Oh my goodness. There we go. Things have so much HP. Ikuto, waga yari no sabi to nere. Ikeru yo, tenu sadaki yo. The other creature ran away. It must have. Dekiru. Okay, good. That's a lot of MP there. Four high ethers. Probably gonna need it. That voice doesn't seem like anyone's about to attack us or nothing. Hmm, question, eh? Very well, ask your question and I shall answer. Long ago, a peasant requested counsel with the king and told him of his hardship. The king felt pity for the peasant and bestowed upon him a gift, his own ring. The peasant thanked the king and promptly sold the ring in order to ease his financial hardship. Were the king's actions just? That is a question I put to thee. The king's most powerful man in the country, he can't just ignore people and let them suffer. He was definitely just. I wonder, isn't it unfair to the king himself to be giving the peasant a gift? I'm sure everyone else would have liked him to help them out too. Alright, that's enough chatting. Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and each think of your, own, of your answer. Let our minds be as one. Uh, I think he was just. The answer is, he was just. What king can hold his head high if he cannot save a single man who stands before his very eyes? So that is thine answer. 
Thou lackest insight, thou shalt not continue on. Now let's consider again what makes, what makes a true king. No way! Lame. Okay, well I uh, hit the, uh, the shortcut there, so... Seriously though? Come on. So he's, if we're gonna say he don't answer? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna and stop it right here. I'm gonna continue on next video. So Godspeed, stay frosty, guys. See you.